Ooh, oh, don't look like... at us. Are we live? I'm I, looking at Matt's yeah. computer to see if it's showing up. It, it, I can see it right there. I see us. Why isn't Matt seeing that? Because it still says it's coming down. If we, oh, I guess it's it's that, so oh, so it doesn't let people in until six? Um, now, if that's facing that way, nothing happens. How do we see the comments? Was my question. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll turn it on. We're just fixing stuff. Okay. I'll have a sip of wine while we're doing this. Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> you got one. champagne. Nice, <laughs> girl. Take <Big> champagne. <laughs> now it looks like we're live. You can see my roots. I haven't gotten my oh, hair done in a nice. while. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, I see Ooh, someone. Someone said, hey, y'all. Oh, they're, now they're starting to talk. Sure. Hello. As you all know, I cannot see. So George is going to be looking at the uh, comments for us. Everyone's just saying hi. Hi. All right. So we're right there. Um, we're doing some adjustments. Getting it all set up. Sherry says she loves the purple wall, by the way. Oh, thank you. We had a change of venue because of grandchildren and um, visitors in town. So I'm actually at Matt's house in the music room, and I apologize for no fire. I know I promised fireside, but uh, there's no fire here. So it's kind of sad. It is, but... <laughs> We'll still have a good we'll, we'll still be cozy. It's fine. Right. We got our <laughs> snacks, food, wine, wine, all the good stuff. Can you see what people are saying? No worries. All we just can saying pretend. Hi. Thank you for pretending with <laughs> us. We appreciate like, it. Oh, Pamela so says her here. office is purple. Oh, oh nice. You have the same taste as Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen says, as long as you have the snacks visible, I'm okay with that. Oh, my gosh. Do I got snacks ready? I'll tell you what I have. I have. Is this your wine? Or this mine? one's mine. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought I okay, had more than that. Hey, hands <laughs> off my wine. <laughs> ben, I don't know if you guys have tried this popcorn. Um, and I do not sell it. But <laughs> it has chocolate and white chocolate drizzled on it. Oh, my gosh. I have to literally a cup and a half, I think is 140 calories. And I put that in a bowl at night with my coffee and that's it. I, otherwise I eat the whole bag. I think it's maybe silly. you should sell it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It's really good. <laughs> and then we have, I made some raviolis under here, some baked raviolis. You have a double decker <laughs> snacks. We are ultra prepared. <laughs> is it six o'clock yet? Uh, yeah, it, it is. Just turns six o'clock. Come back. Someone said hi, Matt. <laughs> Somebody oh, hi. said. <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, doing some rearranging in the background. Don't mind me. You should see the other half of this room. He has his harpeggi there. His sister made him a desk out of a piano. He has a keyboard. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Turn around. Show everybody yeah. your uh, music okay. room. Uh, <laughs> Put him on the spot. No, I just can't. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Although I guess there's a delay. Uh, yeah. Music stuff. All music fun. Yeah. Take a look at that piano desk his sister made. It has my bottle of wine on there. <laughs> and not me, sister. Other sister. Other sister. Right. <laughs> Right. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, first, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's here. I don't know who you are yet, but they're going to tell me. <laughs> um, and the reason for this chat is just to say thank you for the past year. I am so grateful 
for everybody who has supported my channel and my business and we're growing and it's it's just been a great year and I thought we could just sit and chat like friends and um, I would really love to actually meet in person and have a big get together and uh, conversations and chat but for now um, feel free to type any questions in there we're going to just sit and hang out like we would if we could be in person together. Um, I wanted to tell you who I have with me. This is my daughter, Eliana. She's doing customer service now, so you may see emails from her, which reminds me, somebody emailed me and said, I got a an email from this Georgia, and I don't know, <laughs> is she part of your company or not? Which is a great question. You should question these things with the scammers out there. You don't know if you're getting some email that's trying to get money from you. So it was a great question. So I want you to get to know my team so that when they email you, you will know that they're from my company. And if you ever have a question, send me an email, reach out to Marlene on the Facebook page, whatever. So here's my team. Georgia is my niece. If you guys have seen Melissa, my sister in my videos, Georgia is her daughter. And Eliana is my daughter. She's also doing customer service. I think Eliana is doing more like color questions and stuff like that. She's great with color. And Georgia is doing more like returns and all that type of stuff, right? You guys know Matt? And come on, do these two look alike or what? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just popped out the same kid over and over. We even <laughs> accidentally <laughs> wore the same color today. <laughs> yeah. We were like... Yeah. That brain, <laughs> right? Um, and then I'm so happy that on our Facebook group now we have Marlene, Sherry, Eileen, and of course we have V, who's been with me since the beginning, uh, doing our education department. So we're really growing, um, and hopefully we're meeting your expectations. We're going to keep working hard to do that. Good intro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now I need a sip of wine. What did you guys bring for a snack and a drink? Let me know. We'll uh, take a look at the chat, too. Is that on a delay? It is. I already put my glass of wine down. Yeah, that's yeah, on a delay. delay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see the delay because they're watching on the delay. Oh, okay. It's got it. Someone said I coffee delay. and cookies. Oh, coffee oh, and cookies. Good. My two favorite. Do you know what I started doing? I bought... Leo, his son, some cookies, and he wasn't ready to eat them yet. I started having them at night with coffee. They were so good. The arrowroot cookies. <laughs> Six months and up, so she qualifies. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. You're allowed to eat the yeah. I had the teeth that could chew it. Yeah. <laughs> so, again. Cashews and Pinot Grigio. Oh, that's a good one, too. That's a nice combo. Yeah. Cheese, cranberries, and almonds. Cheese, cranberries, and almonds. Also good. Lots of cookies. We got lots of cookies. Good choices. Everyone. I love cookies. When I was really young, we really couldn't afford to have a lot of snacks in the house. And I would always see these TV shows where the mother gave the kids cookies and milk after school. And I just wanted that so badly. So uh, I love cookies. I'll eat cookies <laughs> anytime. <laughs> so we don't have any. I know. Well, we got other snacks. We got that chocolate covered fruit. Yeah. Leo does have some more cookies upstairs. If you get hungry, <laughs> <laughs> steal from my grandson. <laughs> cool. cool. So, questions. Uh, questions? Do you guys have any questions? We should ask them a question. All right. Come up with a question. <laughs> what question do we want to know from everybody? Who's your favorite on this couch? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I uh, forgot one very important thing. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. He's leaving us. Bye. Well, Bye we much. don't know how to handle if anything goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't push any this wig might go, or this show might go down a place. <laughs> right. What do we got over there? Oh, Franny is our favorite, of course. Yeah, that's, oh, that's fair. She's our yeah. favorite, of course, Thank too. Thank you. Franny. A lot of Nothing like asking for a compliment, right? <laughs> oh, no offense, but so happy to have Matt doing the tech stuff. 
<laughs> Matt, I think you're gonna win in the end. Yeah, I think probably. probably. What's that? For our fireside chat. <laughs> what is that a fire yeah you call that a fire yeah it's a little small <laughs> i like the that the signature <laughs> can i have can i frame that when we're done you can have it yeah, okay sure. we're gonna have two raffles <laughs> one during this live this is just for you guys for coming for the live is gonna we're gonna raffle off a main attraction wig and we're gonna put a link up so that you can click on the link, fill out the form and be entered in the raffle. Two, if you would like this signed piece of artwork <laughs> from Matt, you can raffle that off as well. Hey, I thought I got it. <laughs> Someone wants to know how long you've been wearing wigs. I have, oh, that's a great question. I started, I remember the month was October. Um, what month are we in? So it wasn't last October, probably the October before I had my YouTube channel. It was a crochet channel. It was called Franny Square because if you crochet, there's a thing called a granny square. So I thought it was a fun play on words. And um, when I was running my channel, my hair was getting thinner and thinner and I would curl it and try to poof it out and hairspray it. And um, it just wasn't looking good after 10 minutes. So I remember I saw a channel uh, where the woman did a whole makeover. She did her makeup and she put on a wig. And I was like, oh, my gosh, the difference that that wig made. So I said to my husband, I think I want to try a wig. And at first he was like, mm, I don't know. So I usually just say, OK, because I know he'll come around. Um, <laughs> and then I kept looking online and I decided maybe I'll try a topper. So then I went back to him and I said, what about a topper? And I explained what that is. Um, and so we went to a place about an hour from us and I bought a topper and they cut it to match my hair. I could not believe the difference it made. And I remember I went to Melissa's house right after there was a get together. You were there, mm -hmm. right? And everybody was like, oh, you got your hair done. It looks so good. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Could not tell, right? Yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, I felt so much better. And then slowly but surely, well, not so slowly because I'm not slow with anything. <laughs> I was <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I had 50 wigs. Um, yeah. So I just fell in love with wigs, with what wigs can do for you. And I'm not a person who tries to hide that I'm wearing wigs. So it's even easier for me because. I'm like, today I want to be a blonde, curly person. And, tomorrow, you know, I just change up the look every day. And I said to my neighbor, if you see different women coming out of my house with different hair, my husband's not having an affair. It's all me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that was the start of the journey. And then I, I just cannot even believe that I have a wig business. And I can't believe you guys are in the wig business now. Can yeah. you believe it? It's yeah. insane. Because I, I had no plan of getting in the business. But then as I was wearing the wigs and I had my YouTube channel, I said to people, I'm going to be wearing different hair. I thought I'd let them know. Um, I started wearing wigs and the response was amazing. So many women said, oh my gosh, I have a problem with that. Thank you so much for showing us. Um, so I thought, all right, I'll start reviewing wigs. It'll give me an excuse to buy a lot of wigs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, I have to get a wig. I already showed this one. Um, so I started doing that. And then as I did that more, I got some companies interested in me reviewing wigs for them. And I started doing that. And then I thought, why don't I just review them for myself? And, oh, no, before that, sorry, one step back. Before that, I had all these wigs that I wasn't going to wear. So I thought, okay, I'll put them up for sale at a discount for people because then they can get wigs and they've seen it on me. And I asked people if they'd be interested in that. And they said yes. So I started my website and I apologize to anybody who had to use my website <laughs> when I made that website. I showed it to Matt and he was like, mm-hmm. It was great. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then after that, I thought, well, why don't I try to get some brands? And my first brand was Tressalore. And then 
I just kept going from there. And then it got to the point where I couldn't keep up. And I was like, help. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where these guys came in. Yeah. So that's the story. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too long. <laughs> Tam, you want to know which wig you are wearing, and then someone wants to know what has been your favorite wig lately. Okay. I'm glad you said lately, because my favorite wig keeps changing. Uh, so the wig I'm wearing now is Aesthetica Sky, and I've had this one for a while. It's in the color RH1488 RT8. I said when we started, I don't think you guys were on yet. Oh, my roots are showing. I need to get my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lately, oh, my favorite wigs. That, that is a really tough question. I'm loving Los Angeles by Beltress. You guys know I did one also on Newport of Beltress. I find their new fibers to be really great. This one, Beach Wave Magic, I have uh, filmed the review. I haven't finished editing it yet with their new HD fibers. This is Tressalore. I'm really liking that. And I have that in 1426 R10. Uh, what else am I loving now? Um, I mean, I love My Julian Light by John Renault. Uh, there's so many. I, I'm just trying to think of the ones that I wear out when I go out. But those are the ones recently that I've worn out. What are your favorite wigs? Let me know. I'm curious. I and too. You know what else I'm curious about? Do you prefer a basic cap or do you prefer features? on your wig because um, Fee just did the wigs 101 class today and she was talking about basic caps and she felt I really need to do a video showing wigs with just basic caps for the people who are maybe just starting out or who don't want the features. So I'm curious to hear about that from you. Just adjusting some stuff in the background. You can okay. keep talking. Oh, why are we adjusting? <laughs> Um, it just looks a little funny. It looks a little off center. Oh, okay. For now I'm it's kind of like moving I'm all sorry, over the place. you were off center. But you, you guys can keep talking, or Georgia can keep reading out the chat. Yeah. Um, someone said my oh, the oh. fire just fell. Oh, oh. <laughs> our fire is not doing well. It's a little less less than that. Uh, people have said my favorite is Sarah by John Renault. Oh. Wait, Beach Wave Magic. Um, main was attraction. Sarah by John Renault? Was that um, Shari that said that? Um, it's Loving Wig Life. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that Shari would have said that. Okay, who else? What else? Uh, someone said, I definitely prefer caps with features, lace and monotop. Because it's more natural looking? Is that the feeling? Someone said, my new favorite is Beach Wave Magic. That's great. Which which color? Oh, that was Sherry. Yes. That was Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the fibers are holding up really well. Um, it's I would not say it's a low density wig. I want to put that out there. I would say medium probably. And you can tell me, Sherry, if you agree. And Marlene, I know you also have that. But uh, I think the fibers are because a lot of times with the heat friendly it tangles or it gets fragile at the ends. And I've been wearing that baby a lot. And it's I just comb it at night and it's been fine so far. So, yeah. yeah. We're gonna be doing a um, three generations wearing wigs and Eliana's Whoa. actually trying oh. wigs. For the first time. Not Matt? Yeah, with, yeah, with Matt. So <laughs> everybody wants Matt to put on a wig. You know, we're gonna put you in a wig one of these times. Joshua. I think you'll look good in a wig. But it'll be. I think I'll just look like you. That's probably true. That's probably true. Yeah. Well, you in one with this hairstyle. Well, he wore one for Halloween once, and you look like me. Yeah, yeah. that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah it was. Um, so it'll be Eliana, me, and my mom, and we're all gonna try on wigs together. I think that'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. Pam said, "I would like to see more champagne, non-rooted wigs." Champagne non-rooted. Okay. I'm trying to think. Um, does Ellen Villa have a champagne that's not rooted? Marlene, do you know? Anybody out there? So like Biscuit's um, not uh, cold enough to be champagne or? Um, you know, that's interesting. Biscuit by Raquel Welsh. A lot of people think it's really cool and then they get it and they're not happy because it does have some warm tones in it. Um, it's like that warmer brown color in it. 
something. Yeah. So my color <laughs> gone. <laughs> Someone said, what is the best way to care for a non-heat friendly synthetic wig? They are so easy. I love those. They're just throw on and go. What I do is after every 10 wears or so, I put them in a, a sink of cold water with shampoo, let it soak a little bit. And then afterwards I rinse it. When I rinse it, I rinse the cool water over it and I just squeeze it out lightly. I don't ring, don't ring. And I don't comb it or anything when it's wet. You can also condition if you want. Um, and you just put it back in the water put some conditioner in and then do the same thing, run the cool water over it and squeeze it out. Um, and then I just take it. It kind of looks like a drowned rat. And I, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe I stick it on a wig stand in my tub. I have a funny story about that. Um, and I wish I had the picture of that. And I just <laughs> let it dry there. Once it's dry, I come through it and it's right back to the style it was, which is great. So I find those so easy to take care of. But one time I decided I'm just going to do all the wigs at once that are dirty. So I did like, I don't know, four wigs, I think, something like that. Wash them all, put them on the wig stands in the tub. <laughs> the next thing I know, we have a group called Frandy Bunch. It's Andy, me, and our six kids, uh, a text group. A picture shows up and it's the top with just the tops of four heads. He said he walked into the bathroom and almost had a heart attack. And he wrote, this is my life now. <laughs> um, Kelly said, can you recommend the style that has bangs and is mid-length above the shoulders a bit, either synthetic or heat friendly and a more of a straighter style or a bob style? Wow. Uh, <laughs> let me think on that. Okay, girls out there, help me out. Bangs, mid-length. As soon as you said bangs, I thought of the new Beach Wave Magic, but that's too long. Um, she said straighter, Bob? Yeah. Okay, I have to think. I know it's going to come to me. I know there's an Ellen Villa one. Yeah. Is Marlene or Sherry? Sherry said she needs to post on the group and we can help her. Okay. All right. She. Yeah, that's a great idea. Whenever you're looking for something, you can post on the group. You can also... Um, set up a session with V. Uh, she's great at helping people find wigs. But ladies, if you can think of a wig or look up some wigs, can you put it in the chat? Marlene says Amelia by John Renault. Hmm. Amelia by John Renault. I know that there's another one that I'm there thinking of. I'm thinking of one. And also Alva by Noriko. Alva, that's the one I was thinking of. Thank you. Alva by Noriko. Yeah, but. That runs smaller, but does that? No, that one doesn't come in a large. Noriko does tend to run smaller, so um, keep that in mind. I don't know what size head you have. Any other suggestions? Uh, Flying Solo by Raquel Welsh. Lush Waves by Renee Paris. Destiny by Beltras. I'm no, not yeah. familiar with. Destiny those. by Beltras, I am. Okay. Yeah. All right, good suggestions, guys. See? And if you're not part of our private Facebook group, I'm going to put a little plug here. You can come on and ask questions like that, and you will get a ton of answers and pictures of people wearing those wigs. So it's just such a great resource. Um, so much support there. I just love our community. Yeah. Any more questions? Do you have questions? I don't for the ladies? For me? No yeah. questions for them. Yeah. I don't know. We should do a... What, I'm going to put him on the spot, <laughs> um, what would you most like to see on our website that... Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because uh, we want to continue to make it better, and this popcorn is staring right at me. I, just, <laughs> I have to have a piece of it. Um, it's so good. You guys have to try this popcorn. Um, yeah, we want to keep making the website better and easier for you and also we want to help you be able to choose wigs online the easiest way possible i know it's so difficult it's the hardest part yeah having also what would make it easier for people to choose wigs too right what would help. i know something with color in there right i mean color is so hard and b also mentioned ellen bill's sing as a bottom oh, sing ellen bill is sing 
That one's a little bit shorter, is it? Or is it all the way down to the shoulder? I, I can't remember. Is dance one of them also? I don't know. I feel like there's an aesthetical one in there too. With bangs. Oh, I'm thinking, is it Ellen or Sandra? One of those have bangs and it's a bob. One of those. Did you get answers about the website? A couple people have said that your website is great. Oh, so easy you. to search. Hmm. Um, Color comparisons. I really want to, I was wanted to do something where we have like um like you like a choose two wigs and compare them type thing where you can like have them side by side and like compare features mm -hmm. and stuff. Kind of like an Amazon. Yeah, like compared yeah. to other products type thing. So you could like pull up two things and you can see like here's the price, here's the whatever. Lace product. front, no lace front. Exactly. That type of thing. But that's more involved, but it's on the to-do list. Oh, I like that. And That'd possibly cool. also com color comparisons. So you can just <clears throat> pull up two colors from the color chart, even from different brands, and then you can just kind of see them. The problem is some of the pictures are not good. Not accurate. Yeah, someone yeah. said, I'd love to see all the wigs on models. Some colors are hard to decide on with just a small that sample. Is, that is so true. I wish they would give us, you know how when you're buying clothes and you want to see the different colors, you just switch the picture and the same models wearing the same, you know, same shirt in a different color. If they could just give us that for the different colors of the wig, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're slowly building a, like, a database of pictures, but there's 38,000 wig color combinations. So <laughs> that's taking take, us a little time. Take some time. Why can't you get to that tomorrow? <laughs> well, it's you that has to get to it. It's the Franny's hair color chart. Three, I'm all Franny. Three, 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 oh, thousand. gosh. Pictures of me? Um, question, this is before you start talking about the website, but question from Kelly. She says, my wig has been worn for three weeks and ends are getting frizzy, synthetic, non-heat friendly, Henry Margu. It hasn't been washed yet. Will washing it make the ends new or do I have to steam it? It depends on what they look like. When you, I'm not sure what you mean when you say frizzy, um, but if they're yeah, if they're like crunchy or something, I would say to steam it, just, you know, be careful. Don't hold the steam too close to it and keep the combed. Oh, you know what? I think uh, Sherry did a video. What, Sherry, was that video that you did on a heat-friendly wig where you used the steam and the comb? Is she answering? Is she there? Uh, yeah, yes. So. It was? She said yes. Yes. Okay. If you're in the Facebook group, you have to look up that video. It's great. She uses steam and a comb at the same time, and she gets such a great result. So I would say take a look at that. Is your wig curly or straight? Did she say? I don't think she did. The tough part is, um, you know, if it's curly, then you're going to have to get your curl back in. But if it's straight, then you can just do that, and that should take care of it. But definitely come to the Facebook group. So many great tips there. And we have our wig experts and it's awesome. I learned so it's much. It's straight, non heat friendly. Oh, perfect. Yeah, then that's good. Um, Deborah asks, do you think Raze is a great wig to try? I think I like sand multi-rooted. Raze is a short Ellen Villa wig. Is that right? Am mm -hmm. I getting that right? Yep. Um, I think I even did a review on that. And what was the question about it? Is it a good wig to try? Just want to know. Um, I mean, it's hard to say generally. It depends on what you're looking for and, you know, your face and uh, features and all. Do you normally wear short hair? Right, because you don't. So you don't usually wear rays. But rays has pretty bit, been pretty popular um, as far as like Ellen Villa styles go. It's definitely the top 10 that we see. Right. Well, when I first started with Ellen Villa, the reviews that I did that first video, they told me get raised because it's a popular one. So I would say it's a good one to try uh, without seeing your face and all, you know, if you know the style, if you know the style that you like, you see, I can't edit now. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to just stop and start again and then I could cut it out, but I can't do that. Um, <laughs> if you know the style that you like, 
and that's it, then I would say, yes, it's a good one to try. She says, I usually keep it up in a ponytail. Oh, really? Oh. So you don't normally wear short and you'd be trying short. That's pretty cool. I'd love to see that. Yeah, especially if you're always pulling your hair back, then it is like wearing short hair, except it's just hanging out the back. You should also, at some point, uh, tell people about the giveaway. I think you did in the beginning. Oh, I did in the beginning. But um, for everybody who showed up for the live, thank you so much. Um, and as a thank you, we're raffling off a main attraction wig. And all you have to do to enter is click on the link. Where's the link? I will post it in the chat. Matt's posting it in the chat. <laughs> and fill out the form. And then we're just going to do a random drawing from all of the forms that are filled out. Actually, didn't link to it for some reason. He's trying to post the link. It'll be there shortly. Yeah, you guys can keep talking. Okay. So, uh, anybody have a good, funny wig story or um, anything you want to share? I would love to hear from you. I feel like you're hearing from me a lot, but I want to get to know you. I know it's going to take a while to type. So, do you have a funny wig story? <laughs> oh, they don't wear one. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm just thinking about the the heads that Andy saw in the bathtub. <laughs> Mom came and helped me up in Michigan, mm -hmm. and she went to sleep, and I came back downstairs, and there was just a wig laying <laughs> on our bar stool, and I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> Very much freaked me out. So we're yeah. getting used to that also. Eliana started a business. She's a physical therapist and she helps runners who've been injured and also just helps runners get ready for races and stuff. Yeah. That's my mom helped. I think we posted a little bit about you helping me paint the whole gym and right. everything. And like everybody that. was like, You're painting in a wig? Yeah. <laughs> Stayed on great. It did. Right. Didn't get in your face. Yeah. Didn't get it in my hand. But um, it was funny. We were looking for a name for her business, and she kept saying, oh, no, I don't know. I, I just can't figure out what to call it. And I went home, and I said to Andy, you know, Eliana's having trouble. She's trying to get her business up and running. And he went, that's it, up and running. And that's the name of her business. How great is that for getting people back up and running who've been injured and also up and running? Now we use it by accident all the time. We like <laughs> say, once this is up and running, and then <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> I think it only lets me post a link from your account because. Oh, okay. So you posted I, it? I think, yeah, it doesn't want people spamming links in the chat. Oh, okay. I just so don't know how to. It from my account. Is there a way to pin it is what I want to know. <laughs> So if you yeah, haven't seen me post it, and it's under my name. Oh, because he's over there. All right. Hopefully it stays pinned. But, yeah, you can click the link at the top. Or, yeah, the link. Looks like it's pinned to the top. Okay, let's find out. Who has the most wigs? Tell me in the chat how many wigs you have. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys you all know <laughs> that I have everybody be. <laughs> you have the most wigs. Unquestionably. In, in our... Uh, because the open box section is at my house right now. So right. <laughs> it's like, well, that's not fair. Yeah, that's you true. didn't go out and buy those wigs. So, yeah, let me hear from you. He doesn't count. <laughs> but I do have like 400 right now. <laughs> not to brag. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know, right now you get a free hair grip wig grip if you buy one of those 400. So, <laughs> please do. <laughs> Oh, Rebecca said for the funny stories, my six-year-old grandson freaked out when he saw my styrofoam heads in my closet. <laughs> it just <laughs> happened to me today. I was out there and I walked by one of the heads and I like, I was like oh my God. If you didn't hear, Rebecca said that her six-year-old grandson walked by the closet. Walked into the closet. Oh, okay. into the closet. <laughs> yeah. And saw styrofoam heads. I, it's very scary. I lived with my mom and my pop up for a little bit, and my mom wore wigs, and she had those heads. And I slept in a room that was so little. It was like this narrow little room. I slept on the sofa, and right in front of me was a tall dresser with a head <laughs> and um, a TV and a head. So I, if I watched TV, I saw the head. So I think I probably got used to it young. I'm like, ah, oh, heads. Do you have heads around the house? I don't know. <laughs> no, I have them. And then when um, my daughter and her husband stayed in my studio room, because we had everybody sleeping for your wedding, yep. um, 
He said it was a little bit creepy. Another <laughs> mannequin said, yeah. Understandable. <laughs> oh, and the best part of that is at the wedding, he was the officiant for your wedding. He said, uh, it w- so I don't know what it was about, but we slept in my mother-in-law's room and there were all these mannequins and it was a little bit creepy. Something about wigs. And the people in the back row were like, wigs? What's he talking about? Wigs, which means nobody knew that <laughs> I was wearing a wig, or which is amazing to me. All my friends said they had no idea until they heard about the wigs just recently. They were like, your mom was wearing a wig at your wedding? Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Nobody knew. It was Bellissima in a Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. I think mm-hmm. that's what it's called by Beltrus. And that hairline, flawless. I even, I was talking to somebody and they were looking at me closely after I told them I had a wig and I kept staring at my hairline. You know how people do that? when? And I said, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And she was like. (laughs) Let's see. uh, Answers ranging from 3, 20, 13. Marlene coming in with 87 wigs. Oh. Get down on your head. Nice. 49. 49. That's who's that? Uh, Terry. Wow. Maria said between 45 and 50. Wow. You you ladies are rivaling my collection. 15, yeah. 50, 11. Yeah, 45 to 50, 21. Wow. Wow. But it's so much fun, isn't it? I mean, you can just change your look. I love it. I really love it. I When I'm figuring out my outfit, I'm like, what earrings? What wig? What pants, what shirt, you know, put it all together. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Linda asked, how do you store your wigs or what is best recommended? Well, for me, what I do is whatever wigs I'm rotating and wearing at the time, I leave on my wig stands in the bathroom. Uh, The ones that I'm not wearing, I will put back in the boxes. So I put them back in with the tissue paper, with the hairnet. I put it in the box and I store it. I have a half of Andy's closet <laughs> that I use for wigs because my closet's full of clothes. The poor guy, he has like three shirts and two pair of pants and, you know, that's all he gets. Um, yeah, so I keep it in my closet. But I'd love to hear what you guys do because I know some people are hanging them. I saw that on the Facebook page, like on this hanger thing. Um, some people have bags that they use or even Ziploc bags. So, you know, let us know what you do. Someone said, do you want a count of the ones in the closet hid from hubby? (laughs) (laughs) Hopefully hubby's not watching. (laughs) Oh, for a funny story, Carol said, walked under a tree in parking lot and a branch hooked my wig. (laughs) Off it came. I hope no one saw this mishap. (laughs) (laughs) That's hysterical. (laughs) Can you guys hear when Georgia is telling the stories? Let me know. Or... If not, we'll have her speak louder. <laughs> give me a microphone. Yeah, we'll give her a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. What do you do? Like the branch grabs your wig. You got to get it back. You got to put it on. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing that? <laughs> and they said yes, they can hear Georgia. Okay, good, good. So, Marlene, you're 87. Is that after the ones you've sold? That's what you have left? <laughs> Just curious. She's, I know if somebody has a question about a wig, I can go to her. She has reviewed it. So, <laughs> tell me about this book. <laughs> is this popcorn great or what? It's pretty good. Are you sure you don't want to sell it? I know. I think you should <laughs> get sponsored. <laughs> All right. Randy's hair in the popcorn. Sponsored by Chocolate Popcorn. <laughs> on the bottom of the website 87 are the ones I have in rotation oh, wow <laughs> so, <laughs> you just choked Elian on that so when Marlene has all those pictures up on Facebook and that she has like six of the same wig or six of the same color or whatever she probably just takes them out of her closet puts them on that morning <laughs> <laughs> the majority of her wigs are Bella Tress, she says. Great brand. That's a great brand. Month rotation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I, I'm just 
so happy that wigs are becoming, and maybe it's just that I'm doing it now and I think it's becoming more mainstream, but I think it is. I think more and more people are open to it, even younger people. That's why I have Eliana. She's going to be starting to put some on and, you know, for the younger crew so they can see. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to change up my hairstyle. I, it's hard to change up when. The funny part is, like with Melissa, your mom. <laughs> Who said? <laughs> uh, um, your dad doesn't really want her to wear a wig. Austin, oh. <laughs> on the other hand, her husband is like, shave your hair off and wear wigs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he wants me to shave all my hair and just wear wigs. <laughs> but tell, tell him why. He has a thing for both. Oh, people. he doesn't like finding hair everywhere. Oh, uh, that's. <laughs> so he wants no more hair and he. Like all I feel like Josh would definitely agree with that. The, the, <laughs> he the, hates my hair. The everywhere. idea came up for this live that we would shave my head live, <laughs> and this was your guys' idea. And Austin was like, "Yes, let's." Ask. <laughs> <laughs> not Did not agree yet. to that. Um, question that from fun. Francis. Yeah. In your opinion, what are some of the new developments in the making of wigs? The hair, especially, so different than it was even ten years ago. That's a great question, considering I don't really know much about 10 years ago, but I do know that um, the way they're making HD fibers now is changing, especially Tressalor says they have the big, biggest innovation in 20 years in the heat-friendly oh, fibers. Um, <laughs> I, as far as the fiber quality, I mean, I remember Mom's wigs, and they just didn't feel like the hair does now. I know Beltress says that they – bake an oil into their fibers that um, keeps it from tangling as much and keeps it silkier. Uh, Marlene, feel free to jump in here. You've been around longer than me. And certainly V also has been wearing wigs for 15 years, she said. Sure, you guys hop in and give me some answers. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> I know that they're always... Um, when I talk to the companies, they're always talking about bringing in new products and trying to make their fibers different. I know something coming up on Aesthetic, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it yet, so I'm not going to say it, but I think it's really good. Um, I will say that. I just went and checked it out. It should be coming soon. I know I shouldn't do that, but stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, so oh, Austin's on. <laughs> I would love to see shaving Eliana's head on live stream. What did he say? I would love to see shaving Eliana's head on the live stream. <laughs> hey, you stop it. <laughs> uh, did we get any answers on the uh, how have the? I know the caps have changed. Yeah, Marlene, Marlene said that uh, they used to feel like helmets. Like helmets? Yes, yeah, like helmets. no lace fronts. With no lace fronts. Back 15 years ago. I think a lot more permatease back then, too. And didn't they have, like, a closed cap, even the basic caps? It wasn't wefted, I believe. It wasn't, like, open wefted. It's funny. I, I have learned a lot in these two years, but I have so much to learn still. So I'm loving learning from all of you, really, in the Facebook group and um, all of the people on YouTube. Marlene said yes, lots of permatease and completely closed. Yeah. That, can you imagine how hot that would be? <laughs> completely closed. <laughs> so but you know, it, you know what's funny? Sometimes I'll be in the house and I'll be like, I feel a little cold. I'm gonna go put a wig on. You know, because it really does, it keeps the heat in when I'm cold. So and also if you go outside and it's raining or snowing. I, I don't even notice it half the time. Everybody's <laughs> running under umbrellas. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> I'm fine. And my wig's going to go back to the way it was. So. <laughs> Someone just joined and they want an introduction. They see Franny, Matt. Oh, okay. So this is my daughter, Eliana. She's working customer service now. She does a lot of the color style questions. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Matt. He runs the show, the back end of the show. As a matter of fact, I tried to answer a question. I got a call today. Mother, what are you doing <laughs> with that answer? And I was like, what did I do wrong? Uh, okay, I'm not going to answer these types of questions anymore. I'm just assigning it to you. Because the processes have changed since I did it. And uh, I'm not up on it. So... Uh, <laughs> If I made a mistake, I apologize to whoever that was, but he's going to fix it. 
And then Georgia, this is my niece, Melissa's daughter, if you've seen Melissa. She's also doing customer service, and she does more of, like, the returns. And you can interrupt me and tell me if there's no, something I'm missing. Like I that is <laughs> <laughs> it helps the people that, like, change if, like, um, they need to change their order or, like, they want a different color or they missed the sale or something like that. That type of stuff. General. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so Anna's basically acting as mom support person answering the five questions. And Georgia came in to save me because I was getting crushed by emails. Right. So Georgia, Georgia's my, uh, my right hand. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> so, but thank you for asking because I know people are coming in late. So, you know, feel free to ask. And if you're coming in late, we are mm -hmm. raffling off a main attraction wig. Um, for the people on this live, so all you have to do is click on the link. Do you have to put the link there again? No, uh, it's pinned to the top of the It's chat. pinned to the top. Click on the link and fill out the form so you'll be entered in the raffle. Yes. Um, there was something else I was going to say about what we were just talking Oh, so a lot of times in the morning, I got this um, treadmill under my desk because I found I was sitting for hours answering emails and stuff, and I thought, why don't I just stand up and walk and get some exercise in? So I ordered on Amazon just a thing Walking with the pad. high desk. And so in the morning, Eliana will FaceTime me with questions and mm. we go over the questions and she's learning and she's getting better than me even on some of I don't know about that, but it's fun. We get our little chats in the morning. I walk for an hour, which is good. Yeah. But first, so I was having a hip problem and she told me I have to stand on one leg for 30 seconds each leg. I do that while I make my coffee, and then I have to <laughs> I have a whole routine. Then I have to do these band walks to strengthen these outer things, whatever they are. Your hips. Thank you. It's been working. These things. <laughs> it's, been working. <laughs> it's been working. You're a good PT. Oh, thank you. You're sense. a good patient. Thank you. <laughs> I do what you tell I me. I know you do. That, that's great. What else? Um, someone said, I think I have more wigs than Marlene. <gasps> oh, and really? Who is that? <laughs> uh, Deirdre. Deirdre, you have more wigs than Marlene? Wow. All right. Uh, what's your top wig, Deirdre? Your favorite one, the one you wear the most. Wow. That's amazing. Sharon said, how about having Fridays with Franny? It would be like a live sale with chats like this. It would be so fun. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. um, Fridays, I do a big family dinner. I have an open house where people come, Shabbat dinner. Um, but we should definitely do something like that on a certain day. That would be great. Really fun. Yeah. Really fun. yeah. Um, somebody suggested to me today, who was it? They had a great idea. Oh, I know. In the Wigs 101 class, I was talking about redecorating my studio because I want it to be warm and cozy with a real fire. Um, no, no offense. Getting heat on your fire, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, so I've been looking uh, for furniture and stuff like that. And she said, oh, you should make it a show and call it Franny's Furnishings. <laughs> On to the next. No, but I'm not doing that. But I, I am redecorating this. Week. Mondays with Matt. Mondays Sharon with said, Matt. Okay, it Friday. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Great idea. This is fun. I love just talking to you guys. Like, keep it coming. I love hearing from you. And I can shut up and take a sip of water. Um, Pamela asks, seal in lilac silver doesn't list color numbers. Any way to figure out what the silver color is? Never thought I would like grays. Oh, you mean what number it is? That's a good question. I'm, I'm guessing somewhere around like a 51 or a 60. I'm not sure. I can look I to see if they have that Probably darker than a 60, I think. The silver and lilac silver? Is well, it's it also right? got like the purple hue to it, right? Yeah, the lilac, I would think, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how that works. Is it all in one fiber or is it mixed? I don't know. I think I have one. He's going to bring one Try it on. And from his collection, we'll take it's a look at it together. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of the brands give us numbers, some don't. Like if you look at Tresselor, their heat-friendly wigs have numbers. 
but they're not heat friendly wigs, just have colors. And somebody today asked me, uh, what's the difference between, I think it was chocolate swirl and mocha gold and deep sepia. So I took out all the swatches. I'm telling you, looking at the swatches, the mocha gold and the chocolate swirl look exactly the same. <laughs> They had the two different colors, so I'm thinking, well, maybe they use different percentages in the wigs or something to get each of the colors. Yeah. But I was looking really closely, like holding it up, and I'm like, I don't know, they're the same to me. So, and there's no numbers for me to tell on those, but uh, maybe there will be something that tells us. I love that lilac silver color yeah, because it's nice. just a hint of the lilac. It's not like, you know, some people want purple hair, and that's fine too. There are those colors. But this one's just a hint, and it just shows up in the light. I love that. I had zeal in that one. Yeah, that one's pretty good. That one. Did you find it? This is one of this is one of my new wigs, not my Ooh. boss wigs. So. Oh, this is new. No messing with the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you touch it. I thought I was going to try to find. Oh so no, Colleen, Colleen said she's definitely going to have to do the hip exercises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, Colleen, I'm telling you, it helped me so much. Plus, I found if I go too slow on the treadmill, it puts more stress on the hip. So I had to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> the problem is the hair. Do you work out Wednesday? Yeah. 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 Mondays. 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 We don't want to mess with this. Wednesday. Wednesday. We need Tuesday Wednesday and Friday. Thursday. Oh, it is definitely Sunday. darker. I don't know Circa why. Circa Saturday. Yeah. Maybe like a 38 or a 37. Yeah, this is the one. Let me see if it yeah. is. You mean hold it up by the camera? Or? Yeah, you can go hold it up there and it's rooted. I don't see a color combination. I don't see any numbers on it. I can find out for you if you'd like to I don't know. know. if this is too close or too far. Went too high. Oh, go lower, lower. There you go. You can see the rooting. Perfect. Oh, Ooh. there's a delay. So I, oh, yeah, you do a seal this one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very pretty. I like that one. The hairnet's still on it if you're seeing like those yeah, dark stripes. Right? Those part stripes of it. that way. <laughs> but I can you see the faint lilac in it? Um, I can actually ask the brand if you want to know the numbers on that one. Uh, if you have any questions like this, I wanted to bring this up. The easiest thing to do is go to the website and at the top there's a contact. Um, what do you call it then? Tap. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the computer person here. Click on the thing that says contact and a form will come up and you can just ask that question and we'll get back to you quickly. And it's probably going to be me or Eliana. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out the answers for you. Let's see how well Matt puts this back in the box. <laughs> a test. I'm just trying not to crank over the uh, tissue paper. There you go. Someone asks, will wig companies ever make more wig selections in large for us with big 23-inch noggins? Uh, I sure <laughs> hope so. I'm telling you, um, there needs to be more of a selection, even in petites. But there's more petites, definitely, than there are large. And, uh, yeah, I, they really need to. I'll keep telling them. I don't know how much they listen to me, but 23-inch. 23 inch, you could probably. Have you tried Tressalor? You could probably fit Tressalor. Also, Beltress says that their um, upper limit is 23 inches. There's the like the manufacturer recommendation that it says, like on the information about it, it says 20 to 21, I think, or 20 to 21 and a half, or mm -hmm. something like that. But um, the owner said that it's supposed to fit from 19 to 23 inches. Wow, 19 to 23 inches. I mean, it also depends on your ear to ear and forehead to nape measurements, but uh, I don't know if you've tried any of those brands, Beltress or Tressalor. Um, Aesthetica runs larger also, okay. I find. Yeah. yeah, especially their pure stretch caps. Mm -hmm. She says she's tight. tried them all. And they too tight for you? I think so. Wow. Yeah, then you have to use the large. Does the Raquel Welch large ones, do they fit you? Someone's from Italy who's joined Ooh, us. Oh, so cool. thanks for all your tips and advice. Oh, thank you for joining us. I would so love to like sit somewhere with all of you where you know I don't have to wait for your 
chat <laughs> responses so we could just go back and forth. That would be so awesome. Like maybe like a Franny's hair or cruise or something. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. Any questions? Any answers? Any stories? <laughs> Any stories? Any more funny stories? I'm so glad that we're not leaving it up to me to read the chat because <laughs> my eyesight keeps getting worse and worse. Marina says, congratulations on your one-year anniversary. Thank you. I cannot believe it's been a year already. It's that amazing. Fast. It went really, really fast. fast. Yeah, I mm -hmm. couldn't believe. Well, in the last live, somebody asked me when I started, and I think it was Patty, who said, oh, my gosh, you have to have an anniversary celebration. I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even think about it. We do. It, that year flew by, and when you do something you love, I, I was working literally like all day, all night until I got some help, but I loved it. I love this business. It's great. So I'm so happy. So thank you everybody for letting me do what I love. <laughs> letting us join. Yeah. yeah. That, and you know, that's the other thing I was saying in the Wigs 101 class today. Um, for me, a really part, important part of life is family. And um, that's what I wanted to create with the business is a family where we can, you know, bounce ideas off of each other, get support from each other. Because, I mean, it can be tough to start out wearing wigs. You know, you're not sure, is it going to stay on? Am I going to look okay? Are people looking at it? And I think it just helps to have support of your sisters. And I really feel like our community is such a great family. Um, I just love the way I see people supporting one another in the Facebook group and um, even on YouTube and all. So this is like a dream come true to me. This is my, you guys are part of my family. <laughs> my weak family. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It really is. Yeah. So any other stories? Anything you want to tell me? Anything you want to see from Franny's hair? Going forward, uh, I'm all ears. Deb says, your family reminds me of me and my two sisters. In fact, I gave one of my sisters one of my wigs, and she loved it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's so nice. That's so nice. Yeah, family can be great, really. Uh, ours, we have uh, six kids. We're a blended family. And uh, we got really lucky. I think it went really well. It was great. Yeah. We always had friends growing up. It was so much fun. Yeah. My house, I always wanted all the kids at my house because I felt then I could keep an eye on everything. I'm like, a, you know, a little bit of a control freak. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we used to have kids from the neighborhood. It was open house. I would come home. My kids wouldn't be there, but the neighbors would be there doing their homework, <laughs> eating snacks. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. It was great. I, I remember that. in my senior year of high school, all my friends used to come to our house for senior lunch because we always had the best snacks, yeah. as you can see. Um, but they, they loved it. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And they would be like, you're allowed to eat this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always ate all the snacks. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Any good family stories? Anything. I just want to get to know you. <laughs> and don't forget to enter the raffle for the main attraction wave. Can we tell how many people have entered or there's no way to tell? Matthew. Um, tell. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't want to click anything. <laughs> I know. He just like walked away from us. He was like, no. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Do you have any questions for Eliana? Oh, Maybe. Boy. A story about Matt while he's not here. <laughs> I think I hear him coming down. He's starting trouble. Of course, I'll be able to watch this back. Yeah, I'm trying to get me in trouble. I'm staying here tonight. <laughs> She's staying at Matt's tonight. You have a story about Eliana you want to tell? She's trying to get us in trouble. Well, She's trying to start a fight. I'm just boring. Oh, <laughs> wow. He used to call. He used to call his sister sibling one and sibling two, and I was the parental unit, or sometimes the evil parental unit. <laughs> 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 
No, that's me. Yeah, the yeah, now you are. My one year old is just laying on the floor, face down, <laughs> crying, saying "Dada." Oh, he's been saying "Dada" all day. That's yeah. so cute. So I gave him, so I gave him a hug, and then I be all happy, and then put him back down. He started crying again, but I feel that. Oh, um, oh wow. <laughs> Catherine yeah, said, so "Hey, Franny, I think I detect a slight New Jersey accent. Did you grow up in Jersey?" Ah, that is so interesting. I actually, I was born in Philadelphia at Einstein Northern Division. Um, and <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> I'll give you all the details. Uh, then in 1990, I moved to New Jersey and mm -hmm. I was engaged to their dad. Um, and I lived in New Jersey from 1990 until we had our house there until 2018. And then in 2018, I moved to Lake George, New York, which was really great. We had a place right on the lake. It was really beautiful. Um, and then I felt like I wanted to be back with family. My parents are here um, and my sisters and my son moved here. And so they drew me back. In a bed in <laughs> so I must have picked up some of the New Jersey accent. But it's so funny. When I go, when I went to New Jersey, everybody's like, are you from Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I, I probably have both. <laughs> None of the New York seeped in, though. I was there too short. And you were also removed from. Yeah, you were uh, in New like, York. Yeah. We were, yeah. That and we lived basically in the woods. It was back in the woods. It was. I loved it. It's really nice. Someone said, family story. My dad was one of eight kids. He became a hairstylist, and so did many of my aunts and uncles. My cousins became hairstylists, and now their kids are also hairstylists. Three generations. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's great. What do they think of wigs? <laughs> <laughs> and do they style wigs? Because I've heard some hairdressers say, I'm not touching a wig. You know, uh, I yeah. guess they're afraid it's not going to grow back, which it's not. Oh, her name's Melissa. Oh, really? Great name. Great name. Melissa went through phases. She was. Uh, <laughs> Same with her laugh. <laughs> yeah, her laugh went through phases too. Yeah. Really? Did you not know? Uh, no, you have to I ask her tomorrow. Ask her tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'll ask her. She can do it. <laughs> uh, she was Missy when she was young. Then she was male. You couldn't call her anything but male. Yeah. And then she turned into Melissa. Now tell us about Melissa. her laughs. She's went through different phases. I don't know. Yeah, she to, changed her laugh. Yeah, like when she was young, she said she did. Wow. I don't know. If get I her to ask her about this. <laughs> Please yeah. do. And I'm going to call her Mel. <laughs> Please do. Call her Missy Mel. Mel, yeah. 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 <laughs> one of eight. That's great. Well, you're actually one of eight now. I am. Right. So is he? No, <laughs> not, not Matt. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> Any other big families? Small families? Yeah. You can, uh, oh, <coughs> Melissa said, yep, I was Missy, but only my family called me that, and I became Mel and Melissa. Oh, hey, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa's watching. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't say anything bad. bad. <laughs> Did she Paste change her lab? Ask her about that. Did you change her lab, gotcha. Melissa? No, that was the lady who had the Melissa. Oh, that, yeah, Melissa. Her, oh, okay. That was one of me. Not I thought it was your mom, Melissa. No, I don't think she'd be watching. Oh, okay. She's watching Reese. Oh. She's Maybe watching. they're both watching. So Georgia had a baby girl almost a year ago, right? So Melissa's watching her granddaughter. Our family is growing so quickly. It's really wonderful. I love it. Oh, someone asked, what is, Kate asked, what's the picture on the wall? Oh, well, this was supposed to be a fireside chat, uh, but we had to change the venue because I have family in and grandchildren staying at my house and we needed a quiet place. So we're actually in Matt's music room. The harpeggi is looking at me, the keyboard, the piano uh, desk. And I said, you know, I'm sorry, I promised you a fireside chat, but there's no fire. And Matt's like, I could fix that. So he went and drew this picture. It's a signed picture. We're raffling it off. <laughs> <laughs> the runner up. You either get a main attraction wig or a picture of a fire by Matt. We'll so, frame it too. Yeah. The, the first winner can have a choice. 
<laughs> if they choose that picture, I will die. <laughs> Patty says she loves the wall color, purple. Uh, that was Matt. Matt loves purple. I do. Yeah, yeah. my favorite color too. This room, um, we moved in like a year ago, and this room had pink carpet. And you didn't with keep like it? Dark lime green walls. <laughs> mm. It was a, it was a vibe. But I, <laughs> it was not his vibe. Yeah. <laughs> a vibe. Although I might do that in my new studio, so I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I think it's going to be colorful. I want to do romantic, Ooh. cottage core, maximalist. I'm pulling all different um, types together. Matt, That's someone cool. asked, what is your music history? And then someone asked, will you play something for us? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I started oh, playing. Uncle Andy said, Matt, play us something. <laughs> That's my yes. I started playing piano when I was like five-ish, mm -hmm. something like that. And then um, I kind of not really play guitar because I, I picked it up when we were in Lake I have George. to tell you a story about his piano playing. So he started playing when he was five. I never had to tell him to practice. He loved it. Um, and he did really well, and he progressed really quickly. And then at one point, I took him to a jazz pianist for lessons because he had outgrown the, the teacher that he had at the time. And the first session she had with him, she was just testing him to see where he's at and all. Um, she had him reading music and stuff like that. And I came back, and she said to me, he can't, he can't read music. I was like, what? He's been taking piano for you? She said, he knows patterns. He figures it out really quickly, and he plays it back. He cannot read music. <laughs> so that was interesting. So I, I've since stopped thinking. Now I just straight up tell people that. <laughs> I also didn't know he was dyslexic for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I yeah. just, uh, I uh, didn't. I even when I did like sound it out slowly to read it, it was like not as fun as just playing, playing it. it. I'd rather play it different than like read through it, kind of. My my favorite is when you say I don't know how to play that song. Yeah, and then, then he's play it. Three seconds, <laughs> he's like playing the whole song. <laughs> he's like this. He, he listens, listens to it. it and then he plays it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was some. Oh, and with the dyslexia, I found out. It used to be when you dialed a phone number, you heard the tones, do, 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 whatever it was. He memorized phone numbers by the sound. So he would say to himself, oh, it's George's. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how his mind works. So there you go. <laughs> Colleen said, I'm the oldest of eight children. Oh, and Colleen. then Eileen said, um, asking about family, youngest of seven here. Mom wow. and dad achieved perfection and stopped. <laughs> I love hearing about the big families. They're fun. Um, I always wanted a lot of kids, so I'm happy I ended up with the six. Yeah. Worked out great. Yeah. You guys are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> In reference to Andy's question to have me play something, the piano is upstairs. Oh, so. uh, we have to. We'll bring it down. This carries a whole upright down the stairs. Pop it down the stairs. Yeah, I really. Crash it I <laughs> Play a while it's going down. <laughs> I have to post something of you playing the harp head you down. Go to his YouTube cool channel. Instrument. Yeah. Oh yeah, he has a YouTube channel. Yeah. So you can yeah. look. What's the name of your channel? Matt Serkin. <laughs> <laughs> Very original. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, check it out. I was not as yeah. creative as any of you guys. <laughs> well, yeah. Franny's hair came from Franny Square. It just rhymed. I I figured oh, I'm going to start doing some wigs, so I'll just call it Franny's hair. And you know, went from there. I think if I was starting from scratch, a wig company, I wouldn't call it Franny's hair. Right. That's not what happened. You think Sharon asked me to sit on the couch so she can see me? Oh, Let's get on quickly. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Does she look like Melissa? Guys? <laughs> I think there's definitely a resemblance. Like, you can tell this family. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. We get asked if we're related frequently. 
The only yeah. problem with this is I have no idea what any of you guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Anything to answer? I don't even know, you know, like how long you want to hang out. Make sure you enter the raffle. Um, Ooh, Stephanie said, will you ever have a storefront or shop in PA where locals can see colors, styles in person? So we have actually talked about that, right? Um, it's definitely in the ether. Uh, I think it would be so cool to do that. Um, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, definitely. I think we might need to go a little bit more first before we can justify buying a building. That's the tough part. I think that's why a lot of brick and mortar stores are going out of business. You have such overhead with the building, with um, employees to man the building and all of that stuff. But I would love to do that. I would love to um, like get to meet people in person and, you know, help them try on wigs. And when I can see things on people, that makes it so much easier. That's why V does those one-on-one um, -on -one video sessions because she can see you and really help you. And she's uh, just a plug for V. She is great. I get so many emails saying I had my session. She was so helpful. She's so knowledgeable. So make sure you take advantage of that too. Marlene says I'll move to PA and work in the store. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. Now she's sweetening the deal here. <laughs> How many people want to come to see Marlene in the store? I'm not sure. <laughs> Patty says maybe try a pop-up store first, see how it works. How do pop-up stores work? What is, it's like a place that you just rent for a day. Is that how? Does anybody out there know? Because I've heard of pop-up stores. I don't know how they work. That'd be fun. Yeah, That'd be really fun. We just have to get all the wigs over there. Yeah. For the maybe you do it for a weekend oh. or something like that. Janet says you could sell yarn and crochet hooks and wigs. There you go. And, you know, some wigs you can use crochet hooks on. Sometimes mm -hmm. when my uh, fibers come through the other side, I just use a crochet hook. And to answer your question about pop-up stores, yes. Patty says they pop up. <laughs> they pop up? Yeah, they're pop-up stores. They pop up. pop up. I, I need to know more about that. Do we have any around here? Oh, she says you get a small space and it's only for about a week. Hmm. Oh, interesting. We could do that a week. You know, <laughs> do a taco training. truck, but with wigs. <laughs> 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 I was just about to say we should have a friend there. We're like, <laughs> 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 that'd be cool. Like, how cool would that be? I read my mind. I was literally just We could have like the ice cream bell or the music that plays. Franny's hair is coming. <laughs> Everybody come out from your house. <laughs> we're going to be like musicians. We're going to be on tour. Yeah, I right. click something. To, uh, <laughs> Matt, something I click something. I don't know what I did. Oh. I went away. Is, oh, no. Okay. And down. Will we pop one in? Don't time? use yeah. Max. I don't know. Yeah, so fun. Yeah. Oh, my so gosh. Fun. That would be so much fun. Then I could actually meet all of you. I feel like I've gotten to know a lot of you through the Facebook page and your posts and your emails. Yeah, all of that. I was just about to say that. It's like you're right around Catherine said, regarding the wig giveaway, when will that take place? Ah, well, what? well I didn't, when I posted that link a second ago, I didn't even see the comment. That was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when are we doing the raffle? When will we be... be uh, um, well, after this the live is over, I will uh, take all the names over there, and we can, I guess we'll film a little something where we okay. like show the, the spinning wheel like we did mm -hmm. last time. Okay, so, so it'll be announced. Is it going to be after the end of the anniversary weekend? Like, should they look for it at the beginning of next week? Uh, um, whatever you want. And we're only going to do the, so there's two raffles. There's the Henry Margu raffle, which is. Mark you. Or you, yeah. <laughs> I learned how to say that. Well, I'm the same. Austin <laughs> said we could get a Franny's yeah. hair tour around the country. I'm the same Margu because <laughs> you said Margu for so long. I thought it was Margu. You and permanently I broke me. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a Henry Margu raffle that um, there's a, a different video that you posted. Yeah, we'll it's the that. anniversary announcement video. So if you haven't seen that, go find that on YouTube. Comment. I asked the question, how do you celebrate your big occasions?
just comment under that video with that answer and we're going to be doing a raffle using a random comment picker for that video so that'll be the henry margu wig right and so that one your entry you can enter anytime throughout the event so we have to do that one at the end of the event right the main attraction giveaway which is the link that's pinned in the comment section that is only for the live event for people that came to the live event right so we can do it whenever like we don't have to wait till the event ends if you wanted to do it right so we so, could even just do that tomorrow we can choose yeah. the winner and then we will i will announce in a video and i'll show the wheel spinning and the person being picked i'd like to show that just so people know i'm just not like hey you know you want to win <laughs> <laughs> you win no, we, we actually do the rap. <laughs> Have Matt come up with a wig, a wig jingle like the old ice cream truck. So when they hear, we'll come oh, running. <laughs> I wanted him to do the music for my intro, and I've had some feedback on that intro. I think I'm going to be changing it. I think I probably gave some people a heart attack with it because the pounding of it i've now since gone from 100 percent volume to about 32 percent volume on it but somebody said every time it comes on it. <laughs> so, sorry so maybe if you come up with pranny's hair music all right i'll work on it okay well, we hair soundtrack. but i would like it on the harpeggi it is the coolest instrument it's like a guitar harp harpeggi i know somebody said it to me um Piano. How would you just All in one. Oh, turn it around. Show it. I can, I'll bring it. He's bringing it to you. Yeah. I won't be able to play it. That's actually part of the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> That's our veggie. Who wants it? Do you want his picture of the plane? Or is our veggie? This is my friend. It has my initials on it. Um, it's basically like you you push on the notes. It, it's got an amplifier, which is why it's not making sound now. But you push on the notes, and it's kind of like playing it like a piano. But because there's strings, you can like bend it, so it's it, it's like um, got the same feel of a guitar. They say the um, the makers of the instrument say it's like uh, it's playing piano, but with the soul of the guitar. So you have like the sound, like the sliding up and down the strings and the bending of the strings, but you play it with two hands, kind of the same way you play a piano. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool look. And I remember when he told me he was getting it, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that. So, so it's kind of like an electric guitar, but with 24 strings instead of six. Patty said that is so cool, Matt. It <laughs> is. Anybody out there ever heard of a harpeggi before? I'm, I'm curious. I never did before. I did this. before, Matt. Yeah. I did meet a few people who had. It's pathetic. Yeah. Nobody heard of it? I will be very impressed if somebody's heard of this instrument before. How long yeah. has it been around? It's it's fairly new, I think. I think it says the serial number. Like this, which number one you got? Yeah. Um, yep. Mine is serial number 207. He oh, has wow. the 207 wow. harpeggi. A good number. It's yeah. new. Yes. Well, and, and how long have you had it, though? Uh, November of 2020 or 2021. 2021, maybe? Uh, like three or four years, I don't know, something yeah. like that. And he has a pretty cool video where he, it's like day one to 100 of you learning to play the harpeggi. I mean, I, it was like a three video um, series where I did my first two hours, which is very bad. I learned a bad version of Blackbird and like a couple scales. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like my first two hours playing. I filmed like myself opening the box and just putting it on my bed and playing it for two hours. Um, and then I had part two was my first two weeks where I did like, I think I did Hotel California in that video. Great song. Yeah. One of yeah by the good. Eagles. Yeah. And then I did um, first 100 days where I did pretty much a compilation of every song I've learned in order for the first 100 days, um, ending with one of my favorite John Mayer songs. And John Mayer. Yeah. 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 And then Great video. individual songs other than that. Yeah. What instruments do you guys play? And then we said Patty said she used to play an auto harp. An auto harp? I don't know what that and is. And what is that? I'm so interested. I used to play the violin. Oh, that's cool. You is didn't it? know I played the violin? Oh, no. no I was she's looking at the. <laughs> 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 
No, I knew I couldn't be cool. I got so excited. <laughs> you are cool. You should actually hear whenever I tell people about you, I talk about you, I tell them everything that's going on, and then they say, my mom's much cooler than me. Uh, that's how I end all of my sentences. It's not true, honey. No, it is. It's okay. I've accepted it. And auto watch. Can you figure out what it is? Uh, that's what I'm going to say. It's cool. I put a picture of it. Yeah. Yes. Are we kind of... Does it work different? Is it a flat heart? Interesting. No, I've never heard of them. Someone said a banjo. Oh. Someone said the radio. The radio. <laughs> Monica <laughs> said the drums. Someone said. Oh, the drums, really? Is that Monica? Monica, yeah. Oh, I can see that. I am planning on getting an electric drum set. Are you really? If I wow. have time to play it, then I. Teach Leo. Leo. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sure Leo would love it. Leo's already starting to play the piano. Yes, he he stands there and. <laughs> I love hearing about people's talents. They always surprise me. Marlene said she played the piano for about 15 years and trombone for six years. Wow. I can only read Trump music, she says. And what? She can only read music, wow. which is very impressive. Trombone, I would have never guessed. See, it's one of those talents that I would... You have to have a good lip for that, don't you? Isn't that tough? A trombone? So I knew somebody who played a trumpet, and I knew that was part of it. Josh played the trumpet. Did he? <laughs> She's like, not very well. She does not very well. <laughs> not sorry, well, not. when he was younger, <laughs> so <laughs> he's yeah. definitely not watching. Josh, I'm sure you were great at it. <laughs> I'm sure you. Were. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying when people lie, they blink a lot. So Jordan just said, "I'm sure you were great at it." I don't know if that's actually true, but I read that somewhere. <laughs> um, Eileen said, I used to sing. Not oh. much anymore. Really? I always wanted to sing. I'm not good at sing. it. You were I, good. No. She was very good no, at it. I wasn't. I she was. I always said my voice was very vanilla. Like nothing special. I like, like some great, or like, I like Kate Lang, or, you know. <laughs> Marlene said I had a crush on a guy in the band and the trombone was the only instrument available. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Marlene. Now that is dedication. <laughs> Did you ever get together with him? Austin said I played the saxophone in grade school. <laughs> you did? Yeah, you did. I forgot about that. We're going to have to have you play at a family dinner. Yeah. You, know, you still have the saxophone. <laughs> Sharon said you could have a reunion and everyone can fly there if you have a place that everybody can go, but it could be planned. That would be awesome. That would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Raise nice your space. hands. How many people would be willing to come? <laughs> can you raise your hands on chat? Is there like uh, I don't know if there's a button on yeah. here. <laughs> That's like Zoom, I think. It should be a Zoom thing. Oh, it's Zoom. Yeah, because uh, it was B. Who was like, is somebody in on my Zooms? Because I saw a bunch of hearts, <laughs> but now if you make like the, yeah. the, heart, the hearts come out, right? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, a couple of people have thumbs up. Thumbs hands. up. Yeah. That would be so much fun. Yeah. We definitely should do something like that. It'd be fun. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm all for a big party. And I will have this popcorn now. <laughs> I <promise>. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one eating it? No, we've all been eating. <laughs> it's good now. What else? Anything else you want us to know? You want us? I think somebody about? asked about the giveaway again. Okay. Um, okay. I missed it though. <laughs> Austin raised his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is Austin invited? No. Austin did put on a wig. He did. He so did Josh and, so and did Josh. Lucas. And Lucas, right. We just gotta get Matt in one. Yeah. Did you did somebody have a question about the raffle? Matt thought he Is saw something but missed it. A couple of people asked about the way you're wearing. This is Aesthetica Sky in RH 1488 RT8. I've had her for a while and she's a regular synthetic. She's not heat friendly. And I do think the shine has definitely come down a lot mm -hmm. for those of you who are concerned about when you get a wig and it's shiny. Over time, the shine does come down, but you can. there are things you can do also. Um, I love her. I wear her all the time. I think someone also asked about the fit earlier. Oh, the, the fit? Way. 
Well, this is Aesthetica, so it does have stretch, definitely. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference, 11 and a half inches ear to ear, 12 and a half inches forehead to nape. Uh, and I probably have this, uh, I do have it pulled in, but there's plenty of room and plenty of stretch here. Usually, Aesthetica can go definitely 22 and a half, maybe 23, it depends. And now we just had somebody on 23 and said they don't fit, but it does depend on these measurements too. So, but Aesthetica is average to a bit larger than average. So are guys wigs larger sizes then? I wish I could tell you about guys wigs. We carry them. I think you should I have find not out. sold one. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I know why. We don't have any videos on guys wigs. Matt, that's, you? That's yeah, Matt. Who, who wants to see Matt in a guys wig? <laughs> also, no, raise your hand. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Well, actually, you don't want to see it. We do. <laughs> we'll shave both of your heads. <laughs> right now. I do not have a 23 in circumference. You have 23? You measure? Yeah. Uh, what are you ear to ear in? I only did circumference because I was trying on the uh, the wig grip oh. to see if like a large because they said add one inch right so twenty four is like the maximum so I don't even know if it would fit and did the large fit you yeah okay good to know add an inch for those hair grip wig grips they're great right. well also I was um, taking a look at them it looks like the lace ones are also a little bit longer than the non lace ones because I don't know if they're and I'm still talking with the uh, manufacturer about that I should get back with it but. Um, I think the um, average lace wig grips are like 22-ish inches, and uh, the comfort ones without the lace were like 21 and a half inches or even a little bit less than that. Oh, interesting. So I don't know if that's because the silicon like um, pulls it tighter or what the deal is exactly, but okay. the lace does have the silicon too, but I don't know. I, was, I only measured like two or three of them, right. so it could just be like variation per... Lot. Right, I wonder how much variance is in, you know, there's variance in wigs too. They say about like 15%. So I don't know how it works with the wig grips. Right, but I, I feel like getting going on the larger side is better because you can always cut. Right, that's one of the great things about that. She has that stitching mm -hmm. so you can cut it and it won't fray. I love that, so that's smart. Right. Yeah. Deborah asked, how long is the anniversary sale? Till tomorrow, midnight, California time. Yes. Um, and it's been a great event. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, everybody participating. And we were so excited um, just to be able to connect with you and to yeah. put these sales on. It's been great. I had a question for you guys, too. I was thinking about it. Oh, how many of you have gotten a new hair grip, wig grip, and what do you think of it? Yeah. I'd love to see if you agree with me. I was so excited when I found it. Yeah, it's definitely been uh, very popular in the last two weeks. Yeah. And lots of people were trying it out, and we got a lot of good uh, feedback. feedback from people. Some people also had, like, good questions, which I'm getting answers for from the manufacturer. Too. Oh, really? Like what? Um, they were just asking about how they fit and, like, um, different things, like uh, the question about the white label being on the inside of the outside. There's Somebody brought that up. Um, right. And also, like, what to do if they don't like the feeling of silicon, but you can reverse the ones that have the strip on one side. Right. And there's also the ones about the lace. There are versions about that have no silicon on either side. Right. So we had some people asking questions about that. I think the people who have difficulty with the silicone are the people really who don't have bio hair, from my understanding. Because if you have the hair, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong, or if you have bio hair and you don't like silicone. But um, it seems to be people who are sensitive and it's touching their skin directly. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think of it. People have been saying that they have them and love them. Oh, good. And then V asks, what is the ETA on the hair grips in size large? People want to know. So um, <clears throat> the different colors have different ETAs. Some of the larges are in stock right now. I think the only ones that are out of stock right now are the lace tan might be out of stock or there might be one or two left. I don't know. They might have ran out, I'm not sure. And the um, lace gray larges are out of stock. The lace brown larges, I think, are in stock. And I think the um, 
tan and brown non-lace larges are in stock. The um, gray ones we're getting a shipment of in like two weeks, I think. And the tan ones we're getting a few in two weeks, and then we're getting like a big restocking in June. So there'll be like, um, I think there's going to be like 20 of each coming in in like two weeks from now. And some people have back ordered some of those sizes. So whoever back ordered them, we'll send those out and whatever's left, we'll put up on the website. And then we're going to get a big shipment in, in June. So. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're really popular, but I can see why. Yeah. The best way for it, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, I would love to know, do you like just chatting like this or would you rather see me putting on wigs or you want to do both? I, I like to know what you guys want. I want to give you what you want. Oh, somebody asked your favorite question. Mom. What's that? The popcorn looks good. What's in it? Uh, <laughs> let me sell you this popcorn. I'm telling you, can somebody get a hold of the company? I deserve some. Sort I, of I think you, I'll email them. For okay. you. Thank you. I don't okay. even know what it's called. It comes in a red bag. <laughs> I got it. I think at BJ's. <laughs> you can tell she's not sponsored. <laughs> right. I know. Get the bag. And it has dark chocolate and white chocolate drizzled on it. And the beauty of it is it's a hundred, I think it's 140 calories for a cup and a half. So I measure out my cup and a half. I put it in a little bowl and make my coffee at night and I sit and I have that as a snack. And I feel like this is healthy. Don't say anything, Georgia. Georgia <laughs> is a nutritionist and she's probably over there like healthy and what's so healthy about it. But it's not bad. Georgia. Oh no, it's got some fiber in it. So yeah. It's got it's some fiber. fiber. There you go. It's really delicious though. And it is addictive. So I highly recommend taking your portion out, putting it in the bowl, closing the bag up, and then lock it in the pantry. Because <laughs> I will go back. And hide the key. And Penny asks go back. who reads the emails. She's having an issue with a purchase and she wants to know who she can talk to. Okay. Who is? Penny. It's like up farther in the chat. And Austin said, I would love to see more shaving action. <laughs> <laughs> Austin is dying for us to shave our I'm going to kick you out of the chat. <laughs> Somehow. Is that possible? I, I don't probably. Know. We probably, probably could have moved him. You, the you could have kicked him out. See, I totally forgot. Um, darn it. Next time, tell me that. Yeah. Get Marlene the wrench. I will. Yeah. Uh, what was the question? <clears throat> oh, the return thing. Okay. Yeah, um, there's the contact form on the website, which goes to me and Georgia. Um, if you have sent us a, a, an email, like in the past couple of days, we've been running around doing the event. So I know I have like 50 emails built up and I'll get to all of them, hopefully today and tomorrow. Um, you can also send us an email at orders at franniesair.com, but probably the best thing to do would be to fill out the contact form. Um, and I will get to it if you send a message, I just haven't had a lot of time. Penny, did you fill out the contact form? Because the contact form has like if you want to do a return, you click on it. If you want, if you have a question or something. Yeah, and else. all of the um they either will send you to the place where you can fill out your like return request through the website. So you'll be sent your instructions and where to mail the package, or if you have like a general question or you want to change your order, it'll send you to a place where you can type in a message and the message comes to the two of us. And they handle that, but are you, yeah. are you surprised that you have the new contact form? I am very impressed. You didn't tell you about that. How did you find that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, wow. <laughs> wow, this is great. <laughs> I'm so busy. You know? Yeah, I feel like we used to tell you about all the website changes and then we are just like, she doesn't need to do this. Yeah, but then I do something and they're like, mother, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Francis said it's so nice to switch things out here and there in my opinion formal trying on wigs is great but this so is but so it is this uh, so is this so having family here is so very nice to just to get to know you all yeah. that's how we feel too that's why I keep thank you so much for that uh, why I want to hear from you too so anything you guys ask me you can answer also I'm, I'm curious to hear from you Anne says, I love that popcorn. Oh, see? <laughs> yes, I am not alone. And actually, I think I will benefit if more people buy it because then it won't go by the wayside. You know, like some things that they don't sell, they're gone. So get the red bag popcorn <laughs> with the chocolate. Was it dark chocolate and white chocolate drizzle? This is one long infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I really let's get a hold of the manufacturers. That I'm sending them this line. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> just cut the clips of talk, us talking about popcorn. <laughs> when I like something, I like to share it. You know. They want to know what the name of the popcorn is. That's a great question. Uh, she's, I'll she's go get the bag. She's like, all right, I've had it. For how badly she likes this, she doesn't even know the name. I know. That's bad. I hear my uh, child. I hear the uh, oh, poor you know I would show him to you guys, but he's not allowed on social media yet. So. Oh, yeah. He's too tiny. Yeah. Oh my he gosh. did try a wig on though. He did try a wig on. He had sunset on. He looked adorable. I wanted to show you guys that, but I'm not allowed to because it's not allowed on social media. But oh my gosh, totally edible. I bite his legs. <laughs> oh, delicious. Oh, um, the teeth are getting right now. Right now. <laughs> uh, here it is. Oh my gosh. We really have to send this to the um, manufacturer. It's called Popcorn Indiana Black and White Fudge Drizzle. I'll do the fan and white. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that's the stuff. It's killer. It's so good. Oh, wait, you that's the like, uh, uh, little spin. You gotta before. shake it out like the wings. Yeah, he's trying to do the spin effect. You caught on. One and a half cups, 140 calories. Yep. Oh, there is two grams of dietary fiber. Yep. There you go. It's healthy. <laughs> There's even a gram of protein. So Yeah, there you go. Um, Michelle asks, when you buy a wig, you get points. Can you explain that? Yes, I can. Uh, uh, <laughs> stop. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so you can explain the rewards. Yeah. Um, you can get a uh, yeah, every time you make a purchase on the website, um, it uh, you'll get points, one dollar per point, one point per dollar that you spend goes onto your account, which is associated with the email address that you check out with. And then there is a, a link in the menu bar up top. I think it's under about. Um, there's like a redeem rewards points link, and you can go there and you can trade in your points. I think it's like two hundred points is five dollars, and then. The more points you redeem at one time, the better the, the deal is. So it might be something like 300 and something. 75, or 390. Or some number is $10. It, it gets better and better as you go. And they never expire. I know that was a question. So yes. you can use them whenever you want. Because I know somebody said on Facebook they got rewards points, but they had a short period to use them, and they weren't buying another wig yet. Um, so... These last. Georgia just <laughs> Reese is watching. Oh, Reese is watching us. Her daughter is, is she not allowed on social media? Yeah. I know she's not allowed, but there's a picture of Reese watching us. She's very cute. Yeah. That's pretty cute. Do you want to come out and say hi to Reese? No, she'll probably get upset. Oh. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> she's such a cutie and she loves jewelry. I always go like this to her with my rings and bracelets and she's playing she's with good. them. I say, you come to Aunt Fran. She's the good stuff. And that's where I get all my jewelry. <laughs> Someone said, I'm craving chocolate enhanced popcorn now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tell them I sent you. <laughs> all of a sudden, the company will be like, who's friend? He's there. <laughs> Why don't we all email them? Like, not just me, everyone on this. Let's email them. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? While we're at mm. it, someone says I love your videos with your mom. I was just about to uh, say that. <laughs> she's fun, isn't she? You never know what's coming out of my mom's mouth. Last night at dinner, <laughs> I apologized to Christine right here. One of my sister's friends, Sharon's friend, Christine, came and she said to Christine, because she was wearing like this really cute fur vest, mm -hmm. you look like a caveman. And I don't know if she thought of that as a compliment. But Your mother did. She, my she mother did. It she meant it as a compliment. And, but Christine was like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> but she's fun. She's a lot of fun. I still remember she wanted to learn Spanish. And she bought this record. It was back when you had records. And she put it on. She got a great deal on it. And she put it on. And it was like... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she got 
spent money to learn English. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Anything else? I, I don't even know how long. People haven't even said their favorite snacks yet. No one said favorite snacks or favorite food. Favorite type of food. Mm -hmm. Mine is sushi. Mm -hmm. I can eat sushi. Yours That's is sushi. Too. Yours is sushi. I wouldn't say <laughs> my favorite, but I do love sushi. Yeah, I love it. It's so light and fresh. Um, Gross. I don't like raw like ones. Sushi. You would like California rolls. They're, really? they're not raw. Now it has seaweed. He wouldn't. You don't like seaweed. I don't know. You can't even taste it. You'll try it. I You'll know, like it. It's, the raw yeah. fish yeah. it's not raw. I don't eat raw. Yeah, yeah. California rolls are yeah. raw. In the... yeah. Oh, Marlene said sushi. Ah, nice. Marlene. Frankie said us potato chips Ooh. with cream or you... sour cream. Yeah, with sour cream <laughs> because that's what Melissa likes. Melissa's a savory girl. I'm a sweet girl. And Sharon's sweet too, I think. Mm, probably. She yeah, seems I like think it. So. We have another request to show the name of the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you do it? Uh, you gotta give it a spin. Yeah, got a little it a spin. spin. Oh, wait. Look at this. It's very healthy. Grown and popped in the USA, no artificial colors or preservatives, non-GMO corn, no high fructose corn syrup, syrup you know? made with real cocoa. <laughs> so, I mean, so, so healthy. Absolutely <laughs> so and Terrible kosher. as a dietitian. <laughs> dairy. Kosher dairy. There you go. I mean, that's good stuff. Apparently, our, new, our uh, nutritionist initials are GMO now. Yeah. It's not that good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. Not the initials you want. <laughs> <laughs> you have to change your name. I know. Yeah. Um, Sharon said, my favorite type of food, anything sweet. I never met a cookie I didn't like. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm with you, Me Sharon. Too. Totally. Ice totally. cream. That's another good one. Yeah. The cookie monster. I always thought that's a great job. On Sesame Street. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, don't do <laughs> I also don't think he actually ate cookies. <laughs> he wasn't popular. <laughs> Who cares? I'm just crushing dreams over here. That's, right. well, that's why I'm in here now. That job wasn't open. <laughs> Lorena wants to know if you wear wigs all day, every day. Mm. Not all day, every day, but certainly most days I'm wearing a wig. Sometimes I'll go home and take it off and do some stuff around the house but she also wears many different wigs in one day because i, I facetime her multiple times a day and it's like in the morning she's wearing one wig and then i facetime her a little later and she's not wearing a wig and then i come say goodbye oh yeah george is leaving back. us she has to go I'm taking the popcorn with you <laughs> <laughs> how dare you you can you can bring it upstairs if you want me to Yes, I will wear multiple wigs in a day. Sometimes I'm testing them. Sometimes yeah, you can. I'm going out and I want a different look. Uh, but I do wear, I would say, wigs most of the day. Sometimes I'm watching Leo. I take it off, put it on. He finds it funny. Um, but I wear wigs a lot, a lot. And I find them so comfortable. I don't, I don't have an issue with that. Be asked, will you ever offer a line of scarves and head covering? We have some. Yes, we do. Yeah, mm -hmm. Alexander. Yeah, we just, maybe they're not up on the website yet. Christine, it's uh, one of the Noriko, that family brands. We have them. Mm -hmm. We will get them up. You're, so you're interested in those. This is good to hear. Um, we actually do carry the brand. And if you need anything, you can contact us and I can get you some information on it. We just have to get it up on the website. We haven't done that yet. Yep. Yeah. And the hair grip, wig grip, um, the owner of the company wears scarves a lot, and that's why she put the white label on the inside because she was finding that would show sometimes with her scarves. So. <clears throat> Eliana's doing the uh, chat now. Yes, I have to readjust uh my eyes. You can also paste and hit enter. Huh? Every so often. Do we have to post paste the link again enter. for the raffle? What's paste? Exactly that. 
put your uh, cursor in the chat box and click oh, command. Paste. She's putting the link for the right in enter? case you haven't Mandy. Oh, oh. entered yet. I, I, see what, I, I see what you're saying. I got it, guys. <laughs> Let's yeah. see if there's any. Did we get any favorite foods? I think we did, actually. Uh, plain Utz chips with a very cold Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, I like that combination. Uh, popcorn that is a mix of cheese and caramel pieces, sweet and salty. Ooh. That's a good one. Someone asked, what is a basic cap? Oh, uh, I consider a basic cap a cap with no features like lace front, monofilament part. <coughs> monofilament top, just your basic open wefted cap. Yeah. Um, someone else, uh, Penny also asked, is there a way to get order ASAP? Yes. There are, well, just uh, you're starting talking about a, a wig order. So the, the open box wigs are the fastest wigs that ship out because we ship them out the same day or if it's after closing time than the following day. Um, <clears throat> for new wigs, um, we can do expedited shipping. You just have to uh, like let us know either through an email or through the contact form so we can figure that out because we don't have a way to do it through the website. There's no like expedited shipping right now to the website, although that is something that we are trying to get up probably in the next month or two just because people have been asking for it. But if you need something by like a certain time, then definitely... Um, probably fill out the contact form on the website and then either George or I will um, take that and let you know what the price is to like expedite. If you need one day shipping, we can do one day shipping or whatever it is. Right. We have done that for people. So if you need it by a specific date, just let us know mm -hmm. and we'll do that. And by we, I mean, Matt and George. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible to add filter on the website for density choice? Oh, that would be so it is, great. It's so difficult. It's on our, right. So <laughs> as far as uh, my part of the puzzle is complete on that. What I'm, is that? I'm ready to click the upload button. I just don't wear wigs, so I don't know what is dense and what is not dense. So that's on the experts to give me a list of which ones are dense or not dense or... Right, so I can start and and tell you, okay, this one I just reviewed, it's low density, but it's going to take time to go through all of them. But if we could even start, the only thing that I would be concerned about that is if you have a filter, I don't want you to think, oh, that's all the low density wigs if I've only gone through a certain number so that's far. Not, yeah. So, but maybe there's a way we can do it where we let people know this is an, an exhaustive list, but these are the ones that Franny's had a chance to review. You know, yeah. something like that. I don't know. But that's a great idea. And somebody also asked for a filter for bangs, which Eliana is actually working, working on. on. Because that would be so easy. So many people want bangs. Which ones have bangs? And I'm just going through the pictures, you know. If we yeah. could just do the filter, that would be great. Hopefully we'll have that done soon. Yeah. And that's cool. Any other filters, let us know. <laughs> um, how long does this live last? Good question. How long have we been on? I mean, I really just figured we'd sit and chat. I don't know. How do you end an evening with friends? <sighs> I, I had this one friend who used to say to people, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had a, I assumed it was going to go from 6 to 8, so oh, okay. about 16 minutes from now. Perfect. So there you go. Uh, Kelly Roughly. just Kelly just said this wig chat quickly developed into a food chat. Now I know these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the food. Totally. I mean, food is fun. Who likes to cook? And what's your favorite recipe to cook? There's another one. That, I know Matt's favorite meal that I you? cooked. Oh, that you cooked, yeah. Yeah. I don't know your overall favorite meal. But he likes uh, linguine with shrimp scampi. But what's your overall favorite meal? I thought you were going to make fun of meals that I cooked. Oh, Matt made. You do not want Matt cooking for you. I'm telling yeah. you right now. <laughs> I don't know. So you know the boxed macaroni and cheese? He didn't have milk to put in it. And nobody told me I was allowed to use water. Right. For the record. So he added chocolate milk to box macaroni was, and cheese. It was great. It was a closer substitute to milk. 
Then and water. Is did you eat it? Is the question. Yeah, of he course. ate the whole bottle. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and it, it was, was great. great. He sent me a picture. I was like, "What is that? Throw it away immediately." <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't gray. It was like. It was gray. Brown. When you gray. have orange cheese, it was like with a, chocolate milk. Yeah. That's gray. It was like coolish ash brown. V, help me out here. You're an artist. What happens when you add orange <laughs> to chocolate brown? <laughs> it, was, it was coolest ash brown. By Beltrest. That was the color. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Does it make you want to wear a coolest ash brown wig? <laughs> so what's your favorite meal? No, I do like the shrimp scamp, the linguine, the shrimp. That's a good one. People are appalled by your mac and cheese. Yeah. Um I, did although a, I had a good I had a good cooking moment the other day. I I made we have a panini maker and I went to make uh, a quesadilla and I put too much cheese in because I put too much cheese in. <laughs> <laughs> and I also accidentally heated up the panini maker before, like I plugged it in and then I went to go make the quesadilla. And then, so it was already hot by the time I put the quesadilla in. So the cheese melted way faster than it cooked. So I opened it up and all the cheese had like melted all over the pan. So I took a fork and I like moved it all around in the cheese and then flipped it over and moved it all around the cheese. And then I pressed it again and it like, it turned it into like a crunchy fried cheese it quesadilla. Wow. That was actually pretty good. There you go. New that, recipe. That does sound good. <laughs> we we have a, a lot of people saying they don't like to cook, which I'm with you. My husband does all the cooking. Um, and then we, you really should shave your head for him. Just saying. It's a fair thing. <laughs> Is it? No. Um, and then we have some baked meatballs over ricotta. Ooh, that sounds good. Everything bread. Oh, which love bread. Love bread. I make challah bread on... Those Friday night dinners, and I make five loaves at once, and it goes because whatever, and I do some with the everything topping, and then some with just a sweet um, egg wash. So good, and you can make French toast with it the next day. Love oh, bread, that's really good. There's two other suggestions: uh, possibly add density in the description, and filter permatease level are put in the description. That would be good. I don't know if um, how to do that, but we were gonna also look at a new feature where we have like a like an, an opinion section for your opinions on each wig, which we wanted to post on each page, which we are working on. But that'll be a very fun feature, like Franny says, this about this wig type. And that'll be good type thing. And so. you know, I will tell you the truth. Yeah. I just uh, have to try on all those wigs. Yeah. <laughs> But we can do those impartial, so some just won't have your opinions about the wigs. Right. And um, oh, I just oh, somebody asked what size wig grip you wear. They're the same measurement. I have there. the average of the hair grip in the lace um, version. Um, let me see. When will the gray lace wig grip be back in stock? Is this the lace grip the one that you recommend? Well, unfortunately, we were supposed to get a shipment of, um, I think it was like 50 or something of those, and they were supposed to show up last week, and the UPS tracking number still says in on transit. route in transit or something, and I have a feeling they might be lost, which is a shame because the manufacturer is out of those, and that's when the next shipment's coming in June, but they are going to airmail us, um, I think, another 50 or something like that, hopefully in like two-ish weeks. Two two and a half weeks. Um, they're like being manufactured right now. So, yeah. Hopefully, that shipment shows up. If it shows up, then they'll be back in stock when it shows up, which could be tomorrow. Could be right. Tomorrow. Hopefully, or, it'll show. Well, up. It won't be on a Sunday, but it could be Monday. Well, there's some UPS guy out there wearing a bunch of <laughs> wig grips. Oh, right. and... <laughs> Did you laugh? You... I. Uh, someone just said in the chat, "I would not like Matt to cook for me." Yuck! With a <laughs> face. Smart woman. No offense taken. <laughs> maybe, maybe that. Somebody also said you could maybe filter the website by weight. Interesting. I didn't think of that one. Yeah. The only thing is like we length have like of a, a hair will change that, but it is a good idea. Like well, a range. the weights are our data. It, it is data that we have. have yeah. Right. It's listed on the product page for most of them. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if all of them are listed, but we could have like um, – the same thing with how that you can filter by price and you have like, like a, a slider, slider where you can say like whatever under two hundred dollars or something. We can maybe make a, oh, that's a slider a for weight so you could say like between three and three and a half or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Okay. I will. I'm on it. I will like it. About Love it. it. Thank you. Wig wax back in stock question mark. Yes. yes. As of yesterday. Yes. Back in stock. So everybody that had it on back order, it'll ship out on Monday. Um, and then it'll be back in stock. Yeah. It actually is already listed, I think, as in stock on the website. So um, it would also be helpful to let us know if a color is warm, neutral, or cool. Yeah, that is great information. I'm, I have been adding that to my reviews, but it would be nice when you're shopping to just pull it up, um, the color, and see if it's um, cool or warm. Can we do that for the um, color swatches somehow? Um, again, that's on you guys to get us if, the data. If you send me, if you do all the reviews on them and you keep sending them as you do them, I can also go through the whole color. Right. Well, and also you have the color rings. Yeah. We so do even with the swatch, you can look at the color ring and then determine if it's cool or warm and put that with the swatch. That would be great. That's a great and idea. then you could, listen, I have all these ideas. I don't know if it's actually possible, but <laughs> I'm throwing it out there. Then say you want a cool color. Maybe we have a filter that says cool or warm. Interesting. But the thing is, the product pages are the product. And then there's a bunch of colors which are cool and warm. So, but maybe, oh, I have another idea. Maybe it takes you to the color chart of cool colors. And then you click on the color. It brings up all the wigs that are in that color, which we have that feature right now with the color charts. But if we could mm -hmm. somehow sort by cool and warm and do that same thing. Yeah, get on that. We have to sort. <laughs> we have to sort on the color on the color chart to do right. that, and then it would hide all the ones that are not. So if you sort by cool, it'll only show you the cool right. colors in the color chart. See, I knew he would know how to color. do this. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I know how to do it, but I, I will <laughs> take a look into it. I will start working on the list of cool and warm colors. Yeah, your job is list. I will look at the programming. Great, because I can't do that part. I love it. I love um, how they just do it. <laughs> is r1226 ch real chunky uh well ch is chunky highlights right it is chunky highlights um uh, but is it real chunky i had i think um was it hudson in that i'm trying to remember I it's chunkier I, you can see if i have yeah he'll go I check have. I don't know if it's like huge chunks, but it's definitely chunkier than, you know, the regular 1226 or 1226 RT4. Marlene did say, yes, Susan, the CH indicates chunky highlights. Right. So. It does. I don't know, you know, uh, how chunky, but it is chunkier highlights. I liked it. But I also really liked the chunky highlights when they were in style. Everyone really likes the warm and cool idea. So we will get that done hopefully soon. Yeah. And have you guys seen the video I did on um, skin tone, warm and cool, and how to tell? We were just going over that tonight, actually. Oh, you have it? Yeah. I, I have Brighton and I have Jet. I don't know if the heat friendly ones look, do the, the colors look different? They, yeah, they can look different. So we'll hold them up next to each other. So this one is Jet. I don't know. Is this going to be close enough for them to see? Do it. Yeah, you can go up because I'm in the middle. So that one is the non-heat friendly that Eliana is holding there. Can you turn that so I can see it? Yep. And Matt is holding the new heat friendly. That's Brighton. Yeah. Now hold them next to each other so we can compare. Do they look pretty similar? That one. Um, I think Brighton looks lighter. Know, it could also be the Anna's casting a shadow. Um, maybe. I just want to make sure, like, do they, is it consistent? Yeah, maybe it is a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little lighter. It looks like the lighter highlights are chunkier on the Brighton. They're also both in hair nets, so you'll see the, yeah. the black pieces are not actually there. Brighton's right. highlights look chunkier to me than Jet's. Yeah. 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 So, but that gives you an idea. It's not like huge chunks or anything, but you can well, there's definitely a, there's see a more chunkiness in the back, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I have Jack. Yeah. Thank you. I hope that helped.
would, would there be any way we pick out colors and show a few of them side by side, like little compare boxes? That would be good. If you could just say, I want to see RH1226 and RH1226. Uh, yeah, no, I do want to do a side by side comparison. Same, I, I was mentioning it earlier too, that I want to do uh, like side by side wigs and side by side colors where you could pick any two wigs or two colors, even from across brands and pull them up next to each other and see the, either for colors, just the difference in looks. And maybe I'd have to see how difficult this is, but maybe I could, even if it's, cause not all the wigs, not all the models or not all the wigs have models wearing that color, but maybe even if we just took any wig that, um, or any like picture where a model's wearing that color and compare it to a model wearing the other color in question for a color comparison. And then for, wig comparison we can do like the different features and the hardest part of matt's job is the data he gets um because it comes from the manufacturer some of them are good some yeah. of the manufacturers are good at data stuff and some of them are less good i <laughs> uh, mention names <laughs> <laughs> alex just popped on and said hi mom oh hey baby how are you <laughs> hi you didn't say hi to me, but it's fine. <laughs> Not offended. Did Alex try the mac and cheese with the chocolate milk? I don't, I don't know. Alex, did you try the mac and cheese with the chocolate milk? Any um, other questions? Yeah, there's a few that just came in. On the model pictures, could the colors be listed? Uh in the side description, it tells you what color the model's wearing. If we have that information. If we have that information. Yeah. We don't always have it. But. It depends on the manufacturer again. But if the if we do have the information, it'll say over to the right, model is wearing, and then the color. Um, do you have detangler? Detang oh, my God. I can't say that detangler. word. Detangler. Detangler or heat protective spray. Yes, both. Um, by different brands also. John Renault has a detangler. Ellen Villa has a detangler. Actually, right now, if you buy an Ellen Villa wig, you get a free trial or travel size detangler. Um, heat protectant spray, that's John Renault. We have, do we have any other brands? I don't think so. I think just John Renault. Yeah. Somebody said those color charts are difficult for me. I sit for hours trying to figure them out and end up buying nothing. Would it be helpful if we did a basics of color video? Like go through the numbers and some stuff like that? I think that would be a good thing to do. And also, if you are trying to figure out what color of what wig you want to buy, you can contact us through the contact form. We will send you pictures of the actual swatches uh, not like the swatches that you see on the website, but we have actual hair swatches and we can send those pictures to you. So you, it's a better representation than those pictures. You know, you're, you're viewing those pictures through the first, the camera that took the picture, then through the computer and all that, you're still going to see it through your computer. And we took a picture, <laughs> but it's better. Somehow mm -hmm. it's better. <laughs> and you can see two next to each other that way. Like I'll put two yeah, next right. to each other. In, in and we can use actual daylight instead of right. the artificial light. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Taken. yeah. So if you if you need help with something like that, go to that contact form and we will get you that information. You know, I want to help you as best we can. What is the best way to use a wig wax? Um, the way I've used it is just spraying, like I'll put the hair however I want it. If I want to floof it up, I spray it. And, you know, the way I would use a hairspray, it doesn't hold like a hairspray. Um, did I stick my hair up? <laughs> um, the wig products don't have certain ing <laughs> ingredients that regular hair products have because it'll dry out the fibers and all. But any way that I would use a hairspray is the way that I use the wig wax. Um, I actually don't use wig wax a lot because I have an issue with my breathing, but I use other products. So someone I, I have used wig wax in the past. <laughs> someone said, Hey Matt, can you model that one, please? 
Which one? The wig. I see it's everyone Which wants you to put one on. Austin. It's always no, Austin. it wasn't Austin this time. <laughs> it's always Austin starting. Austin's something. always in there saying that, by the way. <laughs> this time it wasn't Austin. It was Eileen. Uh, ah. <laughs> Eileen. I, I would try on a wig. I'll, I'll do, I would try on a wig. You want to put this one on? I, I don't know. Can I rock that one? I'm, I'm what do you guys too. think? Can you rock yeah. this one instead <laughs> of this guy? It should, it should fit bigger. I'm taking it off. Here we go. <laughs> Great. I'm going to take off from the bed. <laughs> is this how we're going to end the, the live? Hey, yeah, this is fun. I don't know how to put on a wig, though. You're about okay, to learn. I'm going to show you. Granny's going to teach you. I'm going to unhook. I'm a professional teacher. That's right. All right, so what you're going to do, I'm unhooking this because I have it moved in. I'm just going to. Yeah, I need the biggest size. I'm just unhooking it. All right, so you're going to dive into this wig. This is the back. And just put this like right about here on your forehead. You gotta try to get that off your head. You're not wearing a wig grip. No. But here, just try it anyway. Right, so where where is my head going? If this is going against the front of your head. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Austin, you better be watching now. Now's your chance. <laughs> and the ear tabs here on the sides. You see that these ear tabs, they have to be even on each side of your head. Oh, I feel the one. I can't even find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, they feel even. Okay, good. Now flip your head up. <laughs> like, so you're facing the camera. <laughs> okay, does he look like me? Is that the... Okay. <laughs> I need to see what it looks like. Wow, it's so much shorter on you than it is on me. I don't have my comb here. I, have a... I wasn't planning on taking my hair off. There you go. What do you think? What do you think, guys? <laughs> Thoughts on Matt and his uh <laughs> <laughs> you actually look pretty good in it. You I, do. I mirror, okay. You look like Eliana. You look pretty good. Yeah. I, look, we look kind of alike I now. I have to look at the camera and like wait for a couple seconds and then watch myself on the delay. Oh wow, I look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we all took screenshots. <laughs> How does it feel having long hair? I don't know how you guys do it. This is awful. <laughs> what having long hair? Yeah, it's, well, it's so there's so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta learn. You gotta rock it. I gotta do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and then hold it back with the heat of your hand. Yeah. Train it. <laughs> <laughs> See, he did learn. He did learn. He did learn. <laughs> it is out of my face. <laughs> See, it works. Uh, off it goes. Well, there you have it, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Um, you saw it here. It's worth the price of admission. <laughs> we got a few questions. Is the anniversary sale over Sunday night? Yes. Sunday night, midnight, California time. Yes. How do you redeem the reward credits? I know you just mentioned that a little while ago, but yes, if you go to in the in the menu <coughs> on our website, the about menu has um, there's actually two links in the about menu. I think one says like either the rewards program or something on the lines where it explains the information about it and how you earn points, and then there's a link that's called redeem reward points. And if you click on that, um, you'll need to log in. So you'll need to type in your email address in, um, and it should email you a six digit code. And sometimes I've heard that that email goes to your junk mail or your spam mail. If it, if you don't see it in your inbox, just check your junk mail. Um, but you type in the six digit code that'll log you into the website. And then um, you go to that redeem rewards points link and you can trade in uh, as many points as you want to trade in for basically for gift cards. And then you can use those gift cards to get discounts on the wigs. And they do not expire. They don't expire. And if you ever see that, um, your rewards points don't look like the amount that you expect to see. It's you get the rewards points on the account that's associated with the email address that you use to make your purchase. So if you have multiple email addresses, they may have gone to two different places. And if that's the case, which I know some people have an issue with that, then just send us an email, like fill out our contact form and I can merge the two. So all the points will be in one place so you can redeem them. But I do recommend that you check out with the same email address every time if you make multiple purchases just to make it easier. And then what do you do when you have a short forehead, the rule of thumb or 
or finger is four fingers from where? I'm always confused as to where you measure from. Is it from the top of the eyebrows or the brow? I do from the top of the eyebrows, four fingers, if you don't have bio hair. If you have a hairline, I would go with your natural hairline. Like if you have bio hair there, I wouldn't put my wig further back than my hairline. If you don't have bio hair, then you can do the four fingers from the top of your brows. That's basically the average. Not everybody's is there, but yeah. But you don't want to put it behind your hairline. I didn't check how many fingers back I was. Go ahead. Let's see four fingers over your eyebrows. So hit your hairline. Where where are my eyebrows? Yeah. (laughs) All right. Now I'll know for next time. (laughs) Everyone loved the wig on you, Matthew. Marvelous. (laughs) Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Yep. Next Christmas card photo. Ah, (laughs) From Franny's hair. We'll send it out to all of you. It'll be a screenshot of, of me like laughing looking away from the camera <laughs> <laughs> any last questions are, are we hitting? and we are at 806 so oh, okay so yeah last call and make sure you sign up for the raffle to win the wig yeah the if you post the, you want to post the link again on the yeah. yes i got it she's gonna post the link click the link we'll leave fill that out the form yeah i'll leave the link open for like another half an hour just people if they're having issues logging in or whatever um but i think we're at like a decent Number of responses. You're at 128 responses. So okay, that's that's great. A good chance of winning a wig, though. Usually, the yeah, it is. A lot it more. is because last, YouTube videos are usually more too. More, yeah. It's the last the last giveaway we did have like 700 or 700. Yeah. yeah. So there's a much better chance to win. Yes. Thank you all so much for joining us. I I can't. I know. I always say I really appreciate it, and I really do. Um, and just thank you for being a part of Franny's hair and make sure you come over to the private Facebook group and share your wig journey with us. Um, we love hearing from you. And if there's anything that we can do for you, let us know. So you guys want to say anything else? Yeah. Thanks for having us. And this was really fun. And don't forget to get some pop. Oh yeah. Don't forget about the pop. And Matt, anything? No. All right. No, No words of wisdom from me. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.